Oh, hello and good morning, guys. Mike. So, I, we're gonna be looking at some of the coldest places in the atmosphere of the world. Now, this episode, I guess you could say, is gonna be pretty cool. Now, <laughs> I, my, oi. Now, once you go to Australia, you usually think of you know some pretty warm places like with kangaroos and um, some other kind of animals that only like warm weather. I'm pretty sure kangaroos only like warm weather. Don't think they like cold weather. Maybe they do. Either way, maybe you think of kangaroos and warm weather. It might be kind of wrong because some of the brutalest, coldest weather might be on, uh, or probably is in Australia. And that we're gonna be looking at. Um, hands on, and let me tell you, this episode is gonna be pretty cool. Just look around, Mike, at the brutal, the brutal destruction here of the ice. Um. Looks like these are the uh, side of the side of the ice that falls out of the sky here. The water it's so cold here the water freezes before it even hits the ground. Um this is about the size of uh hockey sack. That would definitely have to go hundred miles per hour out of the big blue. I'm um, gonna hit you in the head out. It's very cold. I did not expect the ice to be this cold, I'm going to admit. Um but, yeah, uh, this is probably about the size of a uh, little notebook. So, a little notebook, um, as heavy as your brick, hitting you in the head, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Make sure you wear helmets out of here. Um, uh, yeah, that's a little scary. Didn't expect that. I should have wore a helmet. Oh my goodness! Okay, um, so, a big face of ice. And, uh, see, I guess this is just what falls in the sky here, Mike. I'm um, big push of ice here. This, let's push it into that other piece of ice. That's just ice. Let's see if we can break both them. Wear your winter uh, cleats and khakis uh, for this adventure that if you ever plan. Oh, there's another big piece of ice. I uh, plan to ever take this adventure. Be very careful. It's very dangerous. Uh, another very. very sc oh, I just stepped on some more ice there. That's why I have my cleats, mate. Uh, some more ice, not glass, don't worry. I hope that's not glass, at least. This whole thing is uh, pretty much ice. Uh, broke some of it. Looks like some of it bro broke by like a dolphin or something. Wow, that's very cold. But as you can see, all the way across is just ice. Here's a little whale. Oh, uh, this must be a little baby whale. Splash back to it, brother. Uh, find your mommy whale. Go on. I lost sight of it, but hopefully tomorrow he's back there somewhere. See you there, light away. I brought this. This is uh, I brought this with me to uh, pick up some of the ice. This is the parts that were broken earlier by a uh, dolphin. Here we go, some little pieces of ice. And uh, this is more the thinner piece of ice that warmed up through the day. Uh, still pretty cold. Just kind of shatters. Um, very um. Satisfying watching it shatter, almost like watching glass shatter. Uh, it's very fun hitting it and kind of trying to break. It. Oh, there we go. That's a good, strong place. Um, I've tried many times sinking this layer of ice, but it just manages to always float back up or refreeze. It's the weirdest thing. I love making little air bubbles under there. That's what that is right there. That's not ice. That's an air bubble. Might. Um. Or you could play kind of like air hockey if you get one of these pieces on top of the ice. Like like so. Uh, now it's on top of the ice right here. You can't really see that well. Oh, I missed. And then. Skate it across. It's very fun. Um, so you can spend many hours out here having quite the blast, but it's a little dangerous, um, now, um, the ice, yes, is very cold, so I would suggest wearing gloves if you ever go on this adventure, um, if you are trying this at, also don't try this at home, um, unless your home has ice, um, yeah, okay, so here is some of the ice, ice, it just kind of breaks, when you hit it, 
sometimes and know you're just going to... Oh, that was a break. That was definitely a break, mate. That was not a shatter. Um, I mean, a ricochet or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, they just kind of hit this. Wow, that that was ice dust. I'm pretty sure that should be a rapper name, Ice Dust. Um, I'm that's not taking. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, changing my career to being a rapper because Ice Dust. I mean, it doesn't even matter how you sing. That's just such a awesome name that you know. You're pretty much guaranteed to say. Okay, y'all. Y'all. I hope you're still watching because I'm about to. Well, of course you're watching if you're hearing me right now. But you got something really big here. Oh, that didn't do much. I'm gonna drop a whoa, it's slippery. I'm gonna show you where you went to kite. I'm gonna drop again. That broke. I usually wear gloves when I do this. A lot of my gloves got wet earlier. So now it's just even cold. That was... I hope that was in camera view because that was awesome. Oh yeah, that was in camera view. Awesome. Awesome, Mike. Okay. Uh, let's go look at some other ice. That used to be ice. It stood on in a fairly in area. That is very cold. But thankfully, I have waterproof pleats that I got for Christmas. Um, now, this is what I like to call a, a warm river. It's a really warm ground right here where I'm walking on. Um, because this pipe here from deep inside mountains releases warm water that people, uh, Usually, usually you get a shower, but the water once it gets cold overnight becomes more like an ice skating ring, as you can see here. That's why you gotta use your cleats. It's very slippery. Um, very slippery and dead. Uh, my cleats are a little muddy now. I'm just gonna wipe these off on the ice here. Whee! I wipe these off at my tripod. How you doing, Mike? Okay, we're gonna go look at some more ice. My hands are very cold now. Um, now, you're like, is that all cleats you use for? This is my little ice. It's very cold, too. This ice, you don't even have to touch. Um, this ice is so strong, you can just step on it, Mike. It's quite amazing. I put my foot over. Oh, that's water. I thought it was frozen all the way through. Um, I guess I thought wrong. Oh, no, it is caving in. Yeah, I've never done this before. This is not good news. Um, but other thing for cleats is you carve into the ice, like like so. And it adds traction. Okay, if I fall in right now, I, I'm probably going to be a, a little bit in trouble. And uh, a lot of bit cold. So, both things I do not want to buy. But, you know, oh, I hear, did you hear that crack? I'm a stomp. Actually, I should hop off before I do that. Okay. Actually, it seems pretty strong. I'm um, gonna clean my cleats off because this is the only non-frozen ice I found besides the one that I had to dump out ice earlier to feed the chickens. Uh, the ice in wild, wild bush, um, wild chicken bush. Hopefully, they don't attack me. Um, they're somewhere around here, but this is quite amazing. It's very frozen. If I step on these corners, so whoa, water comes through. It makes it extra slippery. I've said whoa a lot in this video. Um, on this here, is a hidden valve of water. Okay, now we are walking to more ice. I'm not sure how frozen this is. It was very frozen this morning. Let me car into it so I don't slip. That's why you wear cleats, y'all. Oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not country. Yeah. That's why you wear cleats, Mike. Ah, uh, this is, whoa, pure frozen. I keep saying whoa and my accent goes away. I don't know why. It's magical, I guess. I'm gonna hop off there. There's, oh! Wild beast. Wild beast down there. Look at them. Planning their attack on mine. It's quite scary, actually. I have nightmares about them. I should leave. Um. Okay, I'm quite scared, Mike. I'm now walking 
out of today. Out of here. Not there. There. Oh. Oh, there. It's just staring at me. Okay. I, I go faster before the wild beast attack me. Um, one last jump before we go. I like the water there. I was kind of hoping for it to break a little bit. Like, not me fall in, but, you know, just like a nice little break. I did add some fracture marks, though. And there. Little place like that, quite scary, terrifying. The ground is very frozen, so my cleats are not actually fishing into the ground there. Oh, I found some ice. Oh, this is some thin ice, but it's very solid. Solid and thin. There's one of the base. Um, we're walking back here into the forbidden forest. Um, this is the only way to get across. That's a poisonous ground there, mate. Uh, let me lay it down. Dan, whoa! Uh, see, that time my rose stay. Oh, there's your dog. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. He looks really angry. I should leave now. I'm running now. Okay, now, uh, this video is uh, coming to an end right right now. Thank you for watching. Sub subscribe to me. And, um,. Have fun breaking ice if you're going out on this adventure. Remember what I said. Wear gloves, winter khakis, and uh, cleats. And uh, sub subscribe. It's free. I know. It's eating you from the inside out. Just do it. Do it. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for watching. And ha have a nice... Or have a cool day. <laughs>